What's up everyone, how's it going? I'm SolarBaka bringing you guys today another gameplay. This time we are playing Gangplank in Gold Elo. Because I got lots of requests to see how it is in Gold where a majority of people are, or Diamond is, even though I've, most of my videos are done in Diamond and Challenger. It's good to change it up for a pace, just like the last video. But also because I recorded four videos today. And they were all wins, right? They were all victories, obviously, the only four attempts that I did at a recording today. And they were all 15-minute, 20-minute stomps. They weren't fun. They weren't interesting. Like, that's the main reason why I'm doing this video right now. Because I want to have a little bit more leeway to maybe extend the game a little bit longer and have more fun. Because, honestly, playing in Diamond, playing in Challenger, and having, like, 15-minute games, it's just not fun. And playing in, low, playing in lower elo... Yeah, although it might be like not that fun, maybe just a little bit more fun for me. I know it's way more engaging for you guys in the sense that you guys get more out of it. Because it all starts the same way, especially in matchups like Darius, which is, uh, I would say, timeless or elo-less. And that whether you have a challenger Darius or a bronze Darius, there's going to be a difference, but it's not going to be from mechanics or anything like of that sort. It's going to be from something else. Like, wave manipulation and all that. And when you're playing a champion like Gangplank, it's not exactly just, like, ELO stomp everyone. So, yeah. If you guys do like the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this. So, into the Darius matchup, as you can see, I'm playing hyper-aggressive, as you always want to do into the Darius matchup. I took Ignite because I know he would take Ghost or Ignite. Since he's not running TP, I can afford to go TP-less as well. And into the Darius matchup, you always want to hard shove him level 1. You hard shove him level 1 so that you're the one who hits level 2 first and so that you're the one bullying him and you can set up a level 3 dive based if he based on whether he tries to go for CS or not. In this case he was trying to go for CS so I'm going to be able to punish him with a dive under tower. And I'll show you guys how to properly execute that. Or I'll just die, who knows. So first you want to start off with just poking Q, poking Q, poking Q. Oh. Oh shoot. Oh! Hold up. My freaking music was going on, man. My music went on for literally like 10 seconds. Bro, you know what I was doing? I uh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to like lower the volume because I heard Rengar screaming in my ear. And instead I got here. It's worth killing him here. It's worth killing him there. He's going to miss out on that entire wave. I don't really care. But, um, yeah, wow. <laughs> I, pl I did... <laughs> I was, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed now. I was... Whatever, man. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button and then my music started playing. Damn, I hope I didn't get copyrighted for that. I don't think I do, but... Yeah, so what I did there was I one part backwards. Like, I knew the Rengar was coming and I wanted to, like, explain everything I was going to do before I did it. Like, so it was more educational. Like, I didn't need to focus to 1v2 that. That's why I, like, oh, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, so yeah, what I did there was I like one part backwards, reset my passive twice, and then set an ignite on the Darius. So I could kill him. <laughs> like, I, I knew I would win that 1v2, but I wanted to get the most, like, educational use out of it, rather than just stomping them and being like, damn, I'm a god, or something like that. But unfortunately, uh, I play. I picked the wrong button, and then I got distracted, but it's whatever, man. Damn, I'm so sad. I didn't want to kill them there. Fuck. Oh, well, it's alright. We'll just focus up. Now, when you're, against a, when you're against a champion with auto reset, such as Darius or Jax, you always, when they go for your barrels, they're typically going to use their, their auto reset. So Darius' case, is, it's auto W. Jax's case, it's auto W. So what you want to do is place a barrel down, assume they're going to auto W it if they go near it. And after their initial auto, you always want to auto your barrel instantly. Right now I'm freezing the wave so Darius has to walk up to get any CS. And once I have Ignite, that's when I'll shove the wave back to him and then I'll kill him. I don't want to shove right now when I'm Ignite-less because he can just run me down. And I have 30 seconds, I have a cannon wave, so I'm going to slow push this. Oh, I hit the wrong minion, my bad. 
again, this is meant to be more educational than uh, anything else, but I mean, we're going to have fun with it too. And just a quick reminder while we're doing this, if you guys do have any video suggestions, just let me know. I do read the comment section and I do read all of the recommendations, so yeah, just let me know. Could have died there, but I didn't really have my ignite up. And I'm looking to kill him once I have ignite. Same thing I did before where I built a wave, I crashed it, and then I dove him. Same thing I'm going to do now. Let me get a quick ward down. Okay. Burn ignite on him, and he should be dead. He tried his best to survive, but because of how I set the wave beforehand and I got some poke and I took all of his pots too, it was just very easy for me to set up a dive. Nice. So far I'm the only lane that's winning. I don't want this to be a stomp. I wanna get the I wanna get the most I wanna help you guys improve most of all, more than anything. I wanna help you guys be able to carry your games as well. And Challenger, like the games, again, the games we played today, they were just the most boring, one-sided type of games. Not much educational use there at all. And by the way, you guys are going to see this on a Monday morning, I believe, at like 1 p.m. Eastern Standard. But just know that I do have a stream schedule. All you have to do is check my stream out at twitch.tv slash solarbaka or join my Discord where I do have my stream schedule posted. We'll be streaming streaming from 5 to 6 p.m. That's going to be my start time and end at 11 p.m. or 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be streaming for about 6-7 hours uh, Monday through Friday. And yeah, be sure to come in. If you see the YouTube video, just tell me what your thoughts on it were as you joined my stream. Yeah. We already have like uh, other friends in the stream as well. It's uh. It's a pretty seasoned stream, if I do say so myself, and it's more its more funny, I would say, more funny, more entertaining than my YouTube is, but nevertheless, it's me, it's me. What? Oh my. I lost vision, so I autoed the minion like three times. Oh, I'm so bad. I mean, gold players are just better than me, what can I say? I have no excuse besides that I am just worse than a bronze player. <laughs> oh, did he leave the lane? Uh, I guess that's all right. Here, let me grab myself a a stinger real quick. Yeah, I messed up big time there. I <laughs> oh my god. So my flash was my flash was alright, but I just missed my auto. It was bad. That's that's a fat kick W. If I was streaming right now, you guys would see the plays that you see on my YouTube that are some crazy plays and then you'll see a play like that. Or I just cannot click for my life. I've lost so many kills because I can't press Q on the right target. And I mean like I know what target to go for. But I just press Q on the wrong target. Like, if I wanted this minion, I would Q that minion on accident. I'm really kind of... I'm special in my own way. We'll put it at that. So while he misses out on that wave, I'll just collect my paycheck really quickly. Wow, Good job, guys. <laughs> hey, thank you. Hazira, I do appreciate that. Are ganking me? What? That's in tower range? No, it's not. Perfect. I blue trinket so I can play aggressive, get a ward on Rengar or whoever's going to roam up to me. And we have our Triforce. We want to get this first tower here. 
If Rengar attempts to gank me, we can easily kill him. So long as we don't give Darius his five stacks instantly. Getting hooked sucks, but we can easily survive it. As long as we don't get hit by his Q healing, we're okay. Nice. I'll take that plate, thank you very much. Right. Nice. Doing great work so far. And if this was you in the game, you're probably gonna get first tower and think, what the hell do I do now, right? Now you want to start clearing your top wave whenever there's a big wave that's going to crash and you want to mostly rotate to help your team out. And when I say that, I mean help your mid laner out. Like I see they have a Cassidy in a melee matchup who can't really clear. I'm going to go interrupt that matchup. I'm going to go, hey, I'm going to go, hey, what's up? And then just go under his tower and take his, take the plates. And what's he going to do about it? Nothing. What's Darius going to do about it? Nothing, because Darius has the farm. That's just worded there, so I can just walk up to him. Look, watch this. All I'm gonna do here... All I'm gonna do here is just... Put myself here. Yep. Look how easy it is, we get two plates. And what can Cassidy do here? Nothing. No, my barrel didn't go off. If my barrel went off there, I would have killed Rengar. Rengar got a good auto timing on me there. That was really good by Rengar. The way he clicked my barrel. <laughs> now, this is a really good lethality, and it's a really good crit game. Personally, I think I'm going to go crit, just because I really like going Lord Dominix, but I could also go Lord Dominix with lethality. And how I know that is I look at their comp, I think, are they squishy? And if they're squishy, it means I can go Lethality. Now, this doesn't make Lethality better, necessarily, right? But, wait, I just walked out of base with Yomus. Alright, screw it, we're going, <laughs> we're going Lethality. This is not in my plan at all. I wanted to go crits, but as I was explaining Lethality, I think I just convinced myself to go Lethality. But yeah. I see squishy comp and I'm thinking to myself, I can go lethality here and have as much success as crit, but maybe I spike a little bit earlier and I fall off later on in the game. And I'm okay with making that trade. Move up my control ward, be a little bit more aggressive with that. Take enemies jungle. Imagine baiting someone in League. Said the Rengar whose username is Maining Zoe. Love it. Love to see it. I'm just gonna take this Rengar's entire top side, make him feel bad about playing Rengar. Because at the end of the day, that's what you want to do. At the end of the day, playing League is not about enjoying the game, it's about making sure that you did everything in your power to stop the enemy from enjoying the game. Like, to stop them from having fun is how you have your fun in League. <laughs> this is just the nature of the game, man. Alright, as I say that, and as the Rengar is missing everything, as he's probably gonna walk top lane because he's tilted. Yep, he's walking top lane. Is he walking top lane? He walking top lane yet? Let's see. Oh, he just completely ignored top lane. I'll throw a quick ult on him. Maybe my team can kill him. See, he had no one to bait at this time. This guy's a character, I'll give him that much.
Beautiful. Now what I'm gonna go next is Dusk Blade, I believe, and then after Dusk Blade, I'm gonna go. How much does give me twenty percent armor pen? Nah, I won't do it yet. I think it's a little too early. Ooh, that Cassidy's level eleven though. I think Cassidy wins this one v one. Yeah. Unfortunately, this Nico must go down. Oh, big man. Big man Darius is here. The Darius has come to rescue the Cassidan. Augers. <laughs> he just got queued for 500 health and he's like, nah, never mind. Don't want to deal with this on second thought. <gasps> oh, I knew it had to be max range. I should have placed my barrel here instead of here. What are you paying me for, bro? You just got soloed. I'm going to take the wave. I'm going to win this lane for you, brother. I'm going to make sure this Cassidy never hurts you again, bro. There you go, buddy. See, and now it's like you won mid lane. Who cares if you got stomped? The fact that you took the mid tower means you won lane. So it's either Ocean or Mountain Soul. Now, if we're blessed, we're going to get Ocean. If we are doomed to have a 70 minute game, we will get Mountain Soul. All right, well, we're going to have a 70 minute mountain soul. I'm just going <sighs> to I'm just going to sell my items and go crit, I guess. Up the team fight where it's originating. Pray Darius doesn't get five stacks. Go top lane. Look at all my damage my ult did. It did like 600, I believe there. Really nice. Also look at Darius's build. He's never going to complete an item until season 11. Very nice, very nice. Exactly what we want to see. Do you even enjoy this game, GP? Hey, I gotta help people out somehow. If this is what it takes, I'll swallow my pride. I'll swallow it. I have my second ult upgrade. Usually you want to have your first ult upgrade though by like 16 minutes. Okay. He sees me. I'm just going to let him see me. I'm going to say hello. Say goodbye afterwards. Get raised morale, and we are vibing. I could have gotten a Dirk there, but I'm going to go for a Lord Dominix now. Because I've been running Lord Dominix like, as a third item, both in crit and lethality GP, and it's been treating me extremely well, surprisingly. Like, I think it's actually really, really, really good on GP. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh god, I'm getting interrogated. I don't know what to say. If I don't answer, if I don't answer them, they're going to do terrible things to me. By the way, I'm not going to push to inhibitor. I think I'm just going to push to... Uh, until I get my uh, Lord Dominic's. That's what I really want to see. I want to see the power of this build. I want to see if it's as strong as I think or if I'm just strolling a little. What? Well, you're just dead here now, aren't you? His attack speed was faster than my auto after Triforce, after having a stinger. This is unprecedented times we live in. 
Damn, I got owned. Damn, <laughs> was that a hundred health and Rengar just yoinked it. Damn it. Whatever, man. Alright. We're gonna get our Lord Dalmix regard and 600 gold we will be very poggers. And then for the last item, if anybody can guess... Actually, wait, no, you guys can just skip to the video. Fuck, no, that's, that's not smart. I was gonna say, if you could guess it, comment down in the section below what you think my last item will be, and if you get it right, I will give you $5 of RP. But, obviously, this cannot work, because you guys can fast forward. But if you promise to... If you, pro if you give me your word, and you give me a pinky promise, then maybe I'll just give you $5 of RP. So anyways, comment down below, right before you finish watching the video, what you think my last item will be. And give me your reasoning. And I promise you, the item I build will not be troll. I will have reasoning for it. But many of you may be wondering, what the hell, Solar? Nobody's ever done this before in the history of League of Legends, and you're going to start this? I'll say yeah. Ah, yes, I am. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you trying Baron now, or what? No, they're not. I'm gonna run to Kindred's Mark. Nice. Alright, I got my Lord Dominic's. I got Lord Dominic's and I got a control word. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Why are you like this? No! <sighs> I was Ezreal so fast, man. I didn't want to execute. I wanted to go for that highlight play. And what I was going to do actually didn't even involve Ezreal. I was going to kill the Rengar. Unfortunately, I am just too bad at this game. So, last item. So, everybody answered, right? Now it is finally time to see what you guys said. And by the way, this build... I think is unironically one of the best gangplank builds you can go. Now with crit, it's even better, but I would say this might be the second best GP build. And it's going to be because of Lord Dominix and another item that synergizes extremely well with it. And nobody will guess it. Unfortunately, nobody here will guess it. Maybe my longtime viewers will, but I'm telling you right now, nobody else will guess it. Oh my lord. Goodbye. That barrel did 819 to him. Jesus Christ. Still not the most damage I could be doing though. Just one more item. One more item. And I won't buy it until I have exactly enough gold for it, just to keep the suspense there. I know exactly how much it costs. But you guys probably don't. So if you haven't cheated already, don't. Try to guess Try to use that critical thinking big brain of yours to figure it out. Oh shoot. Christ, man. Wait, did Rengar try to ulti but it ran out?
Damn, I predicted him too. Go. Ooh, this guy does not want any of it. Nobody wants to contest me. Nobody wants to contest me. <gasps> oh! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw that coming in my head. I'm thinking, don't do it, Solar. You're being greedy. Don't do it. You're being greedy. Then the other side of me was like, what if you're not being greedy? And I was like, shit, you're right, man. And then I just ran in. Now... The item, I'm, I'm so close. I'm super duper close. I'm sure none of you have guessed it. Maybe one of you, maybe two of you special ones have guessed it. I'm gonna need 3,000 more gold for it. And it's one item. I might just sell something. Cass is not 16 yet. Nice, nice. We are very close to the end game. I think they're going to try Baron. Kill him. Don't let them try any anything sneaky. No Baron, no nothing. Just murder them. In cold blood. I'm running. I'm running it as fast as I can. Wait, go, 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 go in. JG dead. Go. Oh, they should have ran in. They had the numbers, and Rengar is dead. Rengar has 13 of the kills. They were super scared of them for some reason, but it's all right. That guy still died. Oh. Oh. All right, chat. It's time for the moment of truth. I can't put it off any longer. The broken item on GP, especially with this build, is Leandri's Torment. Now, I'm sure there were many of you who are like they typing in the comments section. What the fuck, Solar Baka? I guessed that. You're so shit, man. You're not rank 1 GP. You're terrible. Everybody would have guessed this. Meanwhile, you were looking at the video. Anyways. Anyways. Going beyond that, assuming you guys were very smart, right? Which you all are. You're very smart and unique in your own ways. This build on GP does the most damage for lethality because... Read Leandri's passive. 2% more damage in combat. It goes up to 10%. You could have up to 10% more damage on your Qs, your passive, your autos, your barrels, your ulti, everything. Super strong. Not only that though, read, G read the passive one. Read the madness passive. Uh, the madness passive. Spell burns for 3 seconds to 1.5% of their max health, right? Increase to 2.5 against movement impaired targets. GP's ult and GP's barrel is movement and pairing obviously right okay here this guy is running away and i don't like it okay well he got away he's the one who got away but basically your barrels and your ulti get the most value of leandry's 10 percent more damage that's burning for max health damage per second and the thing with this is it applies to your barrels. Like, I know I already said that, but it applies to your barrels. Leandri's will proc on GP's barrels. And do percent damage, percent health damage. 
That's why this item is so insanely strong. I would say stronger than another Infinity Edge. That's how strong I would say this item is. Okay, now we just gotta look for the barrel. But they're all so scared. I gotta wait for my ulti to come up and then I burn them. What's your CDR on that? I wonder what he's asking about. <gasps> oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I clicked nothing there. Damn. Well, Ezreal flash healed. Well, I'll take that. We're gonna have to get this next dragon. I think I'm gonna sell my boots for... What should I sell my boots for? An item that would be worth selling my boots for would be maybe an Edge of Night. I think of Edge of Night or maybe a PD. Since I'm level 18, I could make the most use out of a PD shield right now. Either Phantom Dancer or what? What was the other one I just said? Uh, PD or... My brain is kind of turned off right now. Or even a Morellos actually. Morellos wouldn't even be that bad. Leandri's Morellos synergy, proccing the anti-healing on my barrels, on my ultimate, on my Qs. Doesn't sound bad at all, I won't lie. Interesting. It's very interesting. Cass is 16 right now, so she's kind of strong. But our Kindred has an Iceborne Gauntlet, so... That guy's even stronger. <laughs> the Iceborne Gauntlet Kindred Warrior. That's what I like to see. That's the shit I pay to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, look at the Leandri's burn. Huge barrel. Nice. Really intense game, actually. What the hell? Nice, that's what I like to see. So I think I might actually get a Morellos, maybe. Either Morellos or Edge of Night. That's the item I was talking about. That's the thing about GP. I just love... I could even switch to crit right now if I wanted to. If I really want to, I could just switch to crit right now. And test out two builds. I could, I could be full build two times. All I'd have to do is sell this and this. Oh my god, should I do it? Is it worth it? Oh my god, I could just switch completely. Like it's nothing. Wait, that's kind of insane. I think I might do it. I might white might walk out of spawn like this. So we tried lethality full build. Maybe now we try crit full build. Screw it. Let's do it. Nuke. Oh no! 
No, his ultimate. Damn it, Cassidin. I'll get him next time. Ooh, nice. That's what I like to see. Some big damage coming out. I would love if we could play for Elder, but the game might be over. Injured has 10 marks. He's really strong. We can get there in him now. Now my my barrel damage is a little bit lower, but my crit damage is super high. Let me grab the inib here. There we go. Very interesting. <laughs> I want to get as much as I can. I switch lethality. I switch to. I switch to. Crit. Maybe I can switch to AP. Maybe I should try all three builds in one: lethality, crit, and AP, all in the same build. Now this would be interesting. I'm excited to see it. I'm very excited to see it. I don't think I've ever switched to three builds all in one. Very nice. Arm up a little bit more. And we play for this elder. You should be ending this quicker, bro, bro. It's funny. He thinks I'm trying to end this game. Hell no. That's just a warning sign for the castle to never come on this side of this turf again. This side of Summoner's Rift is taken. In fact, I might just buy another Infinity Edge, actually. I don't, I'm torn. I don't know what I want to build. I'm very torn right now. Seven hundred. I'm six hundred, two hundred. So I need just one more. One wave. One wave. I just need one wave or one camp. And then I'll have my second infinity edge. Nice. And now we have an insane amount of damage. We just went from that to another ADAD plus Infernal Amplified plus AP Amplified by the Infernal as well. If we get this Elder Dragon chat, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm gonna, oof. this is crazy actually. If I can get this dragon, everything will be fixed in my life. Everything. Not rank one, will be rank one. Not rank two, I will be rank one and rank two. Everything will be fixed. And all it costs me is one elder. Amazing. wait on them to show and Baron we should get Baron too Get Baron.
We get Baron, and then I'll buy an elixir. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I hope I get to use my barrels though. Every time I have like this OP build, I swear I just randomly die or the enemy team dies in one hit. And I never get to use my build. Okay. Oh my god. I get Elixir of Wrath. I have 161 AP. Leandry's originally gives me 75. It's like I have two Leandries right now. I am so stacked right now. Fuck, alright. Here it is. It's coming. It's coming, chat. I know I keep calling you guys chat when you're YouTube, but I'm, I'm used to streaming, so I kind of just don't know what to call you guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at the burn. I got him down to 1k health. Is that allowed? Oh. Hey, Ezreal. Let's be mature about this. Dude! <laughs> that was the most anticlimactic ending of my life. I wanted it. I really did want it. And we couldn't get it. I'm so sorry. Everybody watching this video. I'm so sorry for that disappointing ending. God, it was so disappointing. But it was fun to see them get nuked by my ultimate. Damn it, that Rengar just wanted to kill me. And I missed my combo. Nice. Silver 2, plus 20 LP. You know what, we'll take it. 55k damage. Anyways, boys, that's how we switch builds. We went from lethality and, and an armor pen to a little bit of AP, getting that Leandry's damage in, to switching to a full crit build and also a little bit of AP. Insane game. Uh, really fun. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.